Not to be confused with Tanjung Kuping in Johor Kuping Indonesian, Kota Kuping, Indonesian pronunciation, Kupa, Dutch spelling, Kopang is the capital of the Indonesian province of East Nusa Tenggara, and has an estimated population in 2011 of 349,344. It is the biggest city and port on the island of Timor. Kuping is a part of the Timor Leste Indonesia Australia Growth Triangle Free Trade Zone. History Topic. Kuping was an important port and trading point during the Portuguese and Dutch colonial eras. There are ruins and remnant signs of the colonial presence in the city. Representatives of the Dutch East India Company VOC approached Kuping in 1613 after having conquered the Portuguese fort on Solor. At this time the place and its hinterland was governed by a Raja of the Helling tribe which claimed descent from Sarum in Maluku. Kuping was well situated for strategic control over parts of Timor, since it was possible to monitor shipping activities to the south coast of the island. Moreover, the Koinino River provided fresh water for the inhabitants. A VOC Helling agreement was made, but due to the lack of VOC commitment on Timor, Kuping was later influenced by the Portuguese mestizo population of Flores, the Topasses. A Portuguese stronghold was established by the 1640s. However, the VOC was firmly established on Solor in 1646, and renewed contacts with the local Raja. In January 1653 a Dutch fortification, Fort Concordia, was built on a height to the left of the river estuary. Kuping became the base of the Dutch struggle against the Portuguese. After a series of Dutch defeats in 1655, 1656 and 1657, large refugee groups from the VOC allies Sanbe and Amabi settled in the vicinity of Kuping in 1658 and formed small kingdoms on land that traditionally belonged to the Helling. They were followed by two other groups, Amphone and Tebenu The Helling Raja remained the ''Lord of the Land'' Tuan Tana but was closely dependent on the VOC authorities. Apart from the Old Helling territory, Timor was largely dominated by the Portuguese up to 1749. The Dutch set up a European administration with a chief executive and a council. Affairs with the indigenous populations were regulated through regular meetings. The Kuping administration handled affairs with the VOC allied islands Rote, Savu, and Solor. Chinese traders and artisans settled by the early 18th century and soon became indispensable for the economic life. The town area was also settled by various indigenous groups from the region, and by Mardikers who were non-whites under Dutch jurisdiction. In 1752 the population was 827 Christians and an unspecified number of non-Christians. The political importance of Kuping on a Timor-wide level increased greatly in 1749 when the Topasses were decisively defeated by the Dutch and their allies, which led to the extension of VOC influence over wide areas of western and central Timor. Nevertheless, some of this influence contracted after 1761 due to incompetence and inaction on the part of the colonial administration. Kuping was the final destination of William Bly who was set adrift in an open boat during the Mutiny on the Bounty 1789. The Mutiny on the Bounty took place about 30 nautical miles 56 kilometers from Tofua in the Tonga Islands. L.T. William Bly navigated the overcrowded 23-foot open launch on an epic 41-day voyage first to Tofua and then to the West Timor city of Kuping equipped only with a sextant and a pocket watch—no charts or compass. He recorded the distance as 3,618 nautical miles 6 km. He passed through the difficult Taurus Strait along the way and landed on 14 June. The only casualty of his voyage was a crewman named John Norton who was stoned to death by the natives of Tofua, the first island they tried to land on. News of the journey of Captain Bly inspired the escape of a party of convicts from the penal colony at Sydney Cove, Australia. A group of nine convicts and two children, led by William Bryant, stole a small uncovered government boat and escaped from Port Jackson, Australia. Ten weeks later, they arrived at Kuping, having covered 3,254 nautical miles 6 km, as a consequence of the occupation of the Netherlands at the hands of the French Revolutionary Armies in 1795, the VOC possessions in East India were attacked by British forces. Kuping was assaulted in 1797. 
The British were eventually expelled although the town was reduced to rubble. A new British attack was likewise defeated in 1811. After the British occupation of Java, Kuping finally surrendered in January 1812. The British returned the town to the Dutch in 1816. The political strongman in the early 19th century was Jacobus Arnoldus Hazard who governed Dutch Timor as resident in 1810–12, 1814–18 and 1819–32 and handled matters without much interference from the colonial government in Batavia. During his time the Christian mission made a deeper impact through the efforts of the missionary Reant Le Brine The town was opened to foreign trade in 1825 and fees were abolished three years later. Kuping was often visited by whalers from Britain and North America. However, the relocation of whale hunting areas made Kuping a less lively place in the late 19th century, although it was a free port after 1866. The five small kingdoms that surrounded the town area the Helling Kingdom of Kuping, Sanbei Kessel, Amabi, Tebenu and Funai were merged into the Zelfbesteren Landschap self-ruling territory Kuping in 1917, but in spite of the name it did not include the town itself. From 1918 to 1955 it was governed by the Nisnoni family, a branch of the Sanbei dynasty. In the early 20th century, the city was used for landing and refueling by long-distance airplane flights between Europe and Australia. It was occupied by the Japanese in 1942 to 1945, and much of the old town was destroyed by Allied bombing. During the time of the Indonesian Revolution 1945 to 1949 there was nationalist agitation in Kuping, but no actual fighting. Kuping was part of the colonial pseudo-state East Indonesia that was set up by the Dutch, and the town area was included in the Zelfbesterend Landschap Kuping. The latter was phased out after the achievement of independence. Kuping was an important location during the conflict in East Timor, for the Indonesian military, as well as the militias. The camps around Kuping were also of significant impact on the city. In 1967, the city was made the seat of the Diocese of Kuping. In 1989 the diocese was elevated to become the Archdiocese of Kuping. Topic. Climate Topic. Kuping S climate is tropical wet and dry ah, by the Köppen climate classification. Unlike many cities outside Indonesia with this climate, Kuping's temperature varies a little between the hotter summer season October to March and the cooler winter season April to September. October is the hottest month average temperature 28.8 degrees Celsius, 83.8 degrees Fahrenheit and July the coolest average temperature 26.1 degrees Celsius, 79.0 degrees Fahrenheit. The city has a distinct wet season and dry season. January is the wettest month precipitation total 386 mm, 15.2 in. August and September are the driest months precipitation total 2 mm, 0 0.079 in. Topic. Demography Topic. Kuping is a multi-ethnic city of the tribe of Timor, Rote, Sabu, Flores, a small ethnic Chinese and immigrants from Ambon and several other tribes. At the 2010 census, the city had 336,239 residents. Based on data from the Central Bureau of Statistics in 2011, Kuping residents number 349,344 people, consisting of 179,323 males and 170,021 females. Government <inaudible> 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 The city of Kuping is, in administrative terms, a kota city which has the same status as a regency within the Indonesian administrative system. The chief officers are the mayor and deputy mayor, elected officials who hold office for five years. The current mayor and deputy mayor are Jonas Salian and Harmanus Mann who were sworn into office by the governor of the province of East Nusa Tenggara, Franz Labu Raya, in Kuping on 1 August 2012. They will hold office for the period 2012 to 2017. Topic: Districts. Topic: In 2017, Kuping City was divided into six districts, Kekamadan, tabulated below with their 2017 census population. 
Topic: Economy. Topic: The formal sector of the manufacturing sector in the Kuping area is mainly based on the cement industry. The export and import of goods from the local port is also an important part of the regional economy. Local service sector activities trading, transport, food and drinks also employ significant numbers of people in the informal sector. Kuping Bay Salt Farm with investment of about RP.500 billion, .5 million the state-owned salt firm P.T. Garum will begin building a 4,000-hectare salt farm of 500,000 tons per year in Cooping Bay in 2012 and expects to begin initial production in 2013. Fish exports Fish exports from East Nusa Tenggara centralized through the port of fisheries in Tanau, Kuping, Japan, East Timor, United States, and Thailand as four fish export destinations. Sailing Kuping is the first port of call for yachts in the annual Sail Indonesia Rally which starts in Darwin, Australia towards the end of July each year. In 2006 about 100 yachts from around the world took part in the rally. From Kuping yachts head north to Alor and then stop at various ports in Indonesia over a period of about three months ending up in Singapore. <laughs> Civil society organizations Kuping City hosts some of the progressive civil society organizations such as Pickle Foundation and Cis Timor. Think Tanks organization also exist in the city and one of the leading think tank is Institute of Resource Governance and Social Change IRGSC. Topic: Transportation. Topic: Topic: Air. Topic. Kuping City has an airport with the name El Tari Airport. Formerly named Penfui Airport. This airport serves the flight from Kuping to several cities in Indonesia. Topic. C Topic. Kuping Harbor is a harbor in Kuping that can serve both cargo and passenger ships. Passengers typically advance through Kuping to destinations such as Rateng, Ba, Kalabahi and others. Currently the commercial port is located in Tanau and Bolak, which is a Kuping regency. Kuping Namasine is a natural sea port that is now laid out better. This port serves timber ships heading to Rote, Semau and areas around the city of Kuping. Previously the port was also used by fishermen to unload their catches. Kuping Harbour is an old sea port now berthing sailboats from abroad and has become a stopover in sailing Indonesia from Darwin, Australia. Topic. Land Land transport system in Kuping is served by minibus transportation commonly called BIMO. Topic. Education. Topic. In 1962, the University of Nusa Sandana was established, and the city became important both in the field of education and also economically. Kuping is also the home of an private university, Artha Wakana Christian University, Widya Mandira Catholic University. Topic. Tourism Topic. Topic. Attractions Topic. La Siana Beach Nostalgia Park Night Market Topic. Sister cities Topic. Kuping has a sister city relationship with Darwin, Australia Topic. See also Topic. List of colonial residents of Dutch Timor 
History of Timor Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Cooping Travel Guide from Wikivoyage